so I can't exactly say I saw this coming, but it's definitely a nice surprise. It looks like all of the old Fusions units that didn't have Awakenings before are finally going to be getting their Dokken Awakenings. And on top of that, we're also going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings for the three free-to-play Fusions units. So basically just a ton of Fusions Awakenings coming to JP in the near future, and of course eventually on Global as well. And I do want to reiterate that I feel like this stuff should be released simultaneously on both sides, just like the Heroes collabs, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, why don't we just go in order here, starting with the Tech Shinemba Dokken Awakening. His leader skill is going to be Tech Types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, raises defense and causes supreme damage and lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each extreme class ally attacking on the same turn, self excluded. Medium chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks and attacked enemies attack minus 30%. Links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Infinite Regeneration, Berserker, Fused Fighter, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Fusion, Transformation Boost, Majin Power, and Crossover. So overall, a very solid Dokken Awakening. He gets up to 160% attack and defense, 30% chance to dodge, 30% debuff of the attack enemies attack, and also infinitely stacking defense on his super attack. Now one thing you might notice about all of these Dokken Awakenings is that while they're good, right, they're, they're all quite good, they're not really super impressive, right, compared to uh, the new Heroes collab units especially, they're not quite on that level, but I personally feel like they're setting all of these guys up for Extreme Z Awakenings in the near future, maybe within the next like month or so. So even if you're not that blown away by Dokken Awakenings right now, I do think they're probably going to get even better with those Extreme Z Awakenings. But I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but that's just how I feel right now. Anyways, uh, that's the Janembu. Let's move on to the Int Celza. Leader skill is Int Types, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%, super attack, supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, when HP is 50% or more. Uh, links are Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, Prodigies, Big Bad Bosses, Fused Fighter, and Shattering the Limit, and Crossover, or sorry, and Categories are Fusion, Transformation Boost, and Crossover. So once again, just like the uh, Janembu Solid, getting up to 150% attack and defense, uh, HP recovery is nice, uh, Big Bad Bosses obviously is great, but you know, nothing too crazy right now, which really, I think, lends credit to my theory that the Extreme Z Awakenings are not too far off. Uh, next up, we have the SDR Kuliza. Leader skill is SDR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, Chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% with each attack performed, up to 30%. Links are Universe's Most Malevolent, Strongest Client in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Fear and Faith, Fused Fighter, Metamorphosis, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Fusion, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquerors, and Crossover. So this guy infinitely stacks attack and defense on his super attack, which is always nice. But of course, his uh, passive buff is not as high as the other two units, only getting 100% attack and defense, but he does have that medium chance for a second super and also up to 30% crit chance. So that's the uh, cool laser right there. And now we have the Fizz Weirus token awakening. Leader skill is Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive changes tech and int key spheres to Fizz key spheres. Attack and defense plus 120%, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, with 5 or more key spheres obtained, and attack and defense plus 70% when attacking with 7 
or more key spheres obtained. Links are Godly Power, Connoisseur, Innocence, Brainiacs, Shocking Speed, Fused Fighter, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Fusion, Realm of Gods, and Crossover. So, obviously, getting much more attack and defense on his passive, he still changes two types of key spheres. The Fizz Key Spheres, which is most likely still going to be his main job on most teams. But uh, it's nice that he can also do some more damage now and uh, also get some decent defense, right? So, that is the Weiris, and lastly, for the Token Awakenings, we have the GOAT, is Chiao Man. Is it Chiao Man? Or Chiao Man? I think I've been calling him Chiao Man this whole time, but I think it's Chiao Man. That makes more sense. Anyways, Fizz Chiao Man Token Awakening, Leader Skill, Fizz Type Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%, uh, Super Attack Supreme Damage to all enemies while sacrificing 10% HP. Passive is attack plus 80% and defense plus 160%. Attack plus 80% when performing a super attack. And then, key plus 8 plus an additional 200% attack when HP is 50% or less, once only. Links are Infighter, Telekinesis, Courage, Telepathy, uh, Fused Fighter, Orban of Flash, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Fusion, Final Trump Card, and a Crossover. So obviously, um... I don't really have to say too much about him, he's absolutely amazing, and uh, nobody can convince me otherwise. So, there you go, Piz Chow Man, Doken Awakening. And uh, those are the 5 Fusions Doken Awakenings that are coming soon guys. We got the Janembu, the Selza, the Kuliza, the Weiris, and also the Chow Man. And uh, lastly, let's quickly talk about these free to play Fusions Extreme Z Awakenings, starting with the AGL. Is it Pinnich? Pinnick? Let's, let's say Pinnich. Pinnich. Uh, leader skill, crossover, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. And passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, attack plus 120% when performing a super attack, launches an additional attack, which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So really nice uh, Extreme Z Awakening there, obviously a ton of attack. And in terms of the calculation, he actually gets up to 260% attack when performing a super attack. Now his uh, stats are not going to be super high because he is a free play unit, so even after the Extreme Z Awakening, he's only getting up to 12,758 attack and 7,900 and 77 defense, but as far as a free-to-play Extreme Z Awakening goes, you can't really complain too much about these details, I would say. So that is the Pinnich, now let's talk about the uh, Fizz Tekka. So leader skill is crossover, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or Fizz types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when there is another crossover category ally attacking in the same turn. And then crossover category allies key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 25% and high chance of key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 25% for all allies. So this part is actually kind of insane. Basically half the time he's going to be giving crossover units Key plus 5 and attack and defense plus 50%. And even if you don't activate this part, I mean, that's still a nice support passive right there, right? But yo, when this part activates, uh, he's like literally one of the best supports in the entire game. I mean, specifically for the crossover category, but uh, still, that's really, really awesome. So that is the Fizz Tekka. And lastly, we have the Fizz Tiancha Extreme Z Awakening. Leader skill is attack and defense plus 20% per Fizz Key Sphere obtained. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers enemy's defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 180%, attack plus 80% when performing a super attack when HP is 80% or less. Launches an additional attack, which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And key plus 6 plus an additional attack plus 80% and high chance of performing a critical hit when HP is 80% or below. 
once only. So uh, most of this passive, it looks like, comes from being below 80% HP, which I don't love, but at the very least, he's still getting 180% unconditionally. So um, even at full HP, he's not gonna be that bad, but once you get below 80% HP, he's gonna get pretty wild. Um, at least for that one turn, he's gonna be getting a massive, massive attack buff. Uh, the medium chance for an additional super attack, E plus six. Um, overall, just a pretty fun unit, I would say. So uh, there's the Tiencha, and that does it for all eight of the Fusions Awakenings slash Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming to JP once again in the near future. Hopefully Global gets all these Fusions Awakenings as well sometime soon, but it's hard to say exactly when that's gonna happen. But uh, there you go, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these eight awakenings was the most impressive to you, which one are you the most excited for. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.